Hi guys, today we'll be looking at types of data. Um, first of all, I want to look at um, what we call a census versus a sample. Okay, sometimes um, you've probably heard of the word census. Um, sometimes you might get a question, you know, you might get a survey where they want to find out, um, you know, what types of phones, of phones, year eight students have okay so what they might do they might go and survey let's say 10 students out of each maths class and what we would say that would be a sample because it gives a representation of 10 students from each class so let's say there's six classes that would give you 60 students across the board of let's say 180 students. So it's a representation of the whole population, but it's only a small portion of it. So that was what, what we would call a sample. But if we were to go around and surveyed every year eight student, so every student, that is what we would call a census. It means that we look at the whole population okay the whole population so again a sample is where you take a small portion of the population and the, the census means you take the entire population obviously a census is more beneficial because it's going to be more accurate because it surveys everybody but obviously that can be more challenging you know if I wanted to do a census of uh, of people in Cronulla, I have to go around and choose every single person in Cronulla. Whereas a sample, I could just take small portions of different people from Cronulla. You know, I might take 10, um, 10 people age under 10, 10 people from 10 to 20, 10 people from 20 to 30, which would be much cheaper and more uh, practical, I guess. So again, census means the entire population sample is just a small portion of the population so that's number one census versus sample number two we have um, two main types of data okay two types of data really we either have numerical data so numerical data or we can have what we call categorical data now, our numerical data can also be called, and I'm going to put this name as well, it can be called quantitative. Quantitative data, where categorical can also be called qualitative data. So I guess, how do you remember the differences? Well, quantitative kind of sounds like quantity, which is, which is numerical. Um, and numerical, unfortunately for us, splits into two different types of numerical. Although there are two types of data, there's numerical and categorical, numerical splits into two types. It just splits into discrete data and splits into continuous data. So discrete data is where it has to be an exact number. An exact number. Where continuous data um, it can be a decimal, all right? It might sound weird, all right? So exact versus a decimal. So for example, you might live um, at, f you know, four, number four, the Esplanade Cronulla. You can't live at 4.2, the Espl Esplanade Cronulla. It needs to be an exact number. Whereas to the continuous, you could run 4.9 um, seconds for 100 meters if you were incredibly fast, of course. So we've got numerical data. The categorical data is types of things, okay? So it's looking at types of things, mainly like words. So things like, you know, hair color, um, car color, car type, those sorts of things. So let's have a look at an example. I'm gonna give you three um, types of data. So we're gonna give you um, the weight of a person I'm going to give you the shoe size of a person and your phone type. Okay, 
So if you have to label these as either, um, let's say numerical continuous, numerical discrete, or categorical. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Weight of a person. So let's give an example. If you have this question, if you say, okay, what is your weight? For me, I'm 92.5 kilograms. Okay, so 92.5, number one is a number. So because it's a number, it's got to be one of these two questions here. Is it possible to be 92.2 kilograms? Well, it certainly is. So we would call that numerical continuous because you can have 92.2456 kilograms. It is possible if you have something that measured that accurately. The shoe size of a person, again, I'm going to take my shoe size. I'm 10 and a half. Okay, so I'm a 10 and a half. Now, can you be 10.6 shoe size? No, you can't. So we would call that numerical discrete. Although you can have a decimal answer, I guess 10.5, you can't have 10.6 or you can't have 10.251. It's not possible. You walked into a store and asked for that, you'd look like an idiot. Okay? You're looking for things like 9, 9.5, 10, 10 up, etc. Other things might be like um, you know, how many children in your family, um, how many sisters do you have, how many cats do you have, how many pets do you have. You know, you can't have, you know, 0.2 of a pet. Unless, of course, you're a bit of a sadist and you're cutting pets' legs off. Hopefully not. That's not the case, though. Um, and the last type is phone type. Okay, so I have an iPhone. All right, and you'll notice that an iPhone is a word. So that's going to be a categorical. So that's a type of thing. You might have an iPhone, so you might have an Apple. You might have a Samsung. You might have a Nokia. You know, different things and often again if they're words they're going to be categorical so again we've basically gone through um, two sorry two two types of data numerical quantitative um, so it goes into numerical discrete numerical continuous or categorical realistically three types of data I guess but remembering that um, numerical is one type it just splits into two different sections um, and also making sure that you know the difference between a census and a sample Fingers crossed, you know those uh, two bits, so make sure if you don't, you go over it. Enjoy.